Hello everyone, uh, in this video we will be uh, discussing about how to append data to an existing excel sheet with the help of python with couple of libraries. Appending data to an existing excel sheet can be achieved with, with various python libraries such as uh, pandas is there, each offering their own unique uh, functionalities and you know considerations. Now here are the ways to append data to an existing excel sheet with the help of a popular python library so the first one is um, openpy excel which can be used with the help of pandas now um, pandas needs to be installed whenever you would like to let's say read the data within an uh, with the help of python because with only openpy excel you will not be able to uh, work with the data you can access the excel for sure but you cannot read or write or at least read the data now the best thing about open by excel you can use various uh, let's, uh, objects within the excel sheet so when i say object everything is an object in in excel uh, let's say the sheet workbook charts or even um, you know, all the menus and also all these are objects within excel so to access them or to use let's say to make use of those objects you can use OpenPy Excel, uh, which is one of the best libraries or known libraries in, in Python. Now with OpenPy Excel, you can obviously preserve the existing structure of the, uh, the sheet and then you can append the data within an Excel sheet. Now a couple of Python libraries doesn't allow you to directly access the Excel uh, objects, which includes your uh, pandas library. But OpenPy Excel allows you to manipulate the Excel files for uh, complex operations now i will give you an example how to append the data uh, to an existing excel so this is the visual studio code on which we have been working and then this is the path on which we have created the virtual environment and uh, we will be working on right so let's create a new python notebook right so the help python and us and open live right uh, i think it will not be code but it markdown right now let's write the code since we already have uh, in the previous video what we did we um, installed openpy excel and then we also installed um, panda so we don't need to install them again but what we have to make sure is we are selecting the right kernel let's import pandas as pd and then from right let's try to run this okay so it's now let's create some data right so we have to create the data frame so that it's more of a you know tabular structure let's give it a name new data since we are creating um key value um dictionary so that's why we i have added a curly braces right so we have new data let's check the new data new data dot head we don't need to write the head but still so we have zero one two three so basically head will give you five number of records but since we have only three so it's showing you now we have column a and column b as a tabular um, structure now um, we'll open the excel workbook and then we will mention on which excel uh, or uh, on which uh, now we will um, open an excel workbook and then we will mention on which excel sheet we would like to add the data and then we we are actually exist we are writing the data on an existing excel workbook let me open and show you the pandas so this is the existing worksheet or let's say the workbook that we'll be working on right and on this data or on this workbook we will be writing the data so let's say load the workbook and add data to an existing worksheet or let's write load existing workbook and then add data or append data to an existing worksheet right okay so with pd dot excel writer i will give the name let's say example pandas so this is the existing workbook that we have and then we had sheet one as a sheet name and then engine equal to let's say open by excel and then we have mode we are doing append right mm and then we will also say if if sheet exists so uh here we will write the sheet name so let's say sheet one as writer right um now we have new data dot to cell writer sheet one start row is equal to let's say writer dot needs sheet one dot max row index equals and that is very um uh, okay overlay okay so what we did we basically added this data into see this data we we added right so how did we add that i will just go through the code again 
So basically, uh, we are using uh, pandas method, which is Excel Writer, to write the data uh, into this existing Excel workbook. Now we are using the engine as OpenPy Excel to write the data, right? And the mode that we are using is the append mode, right? Now, uh, what is if sheets exist is equal to overlay? So overlay makes sure that uh, the OpenPy Excel do not delete or remove the existing content from the system or let's say from the workbook or the worksheet right so we are giving it as alias name as writer now uh, with this uh, library we are using new data dot to excel uh, method to write the data so basically we are using this writer as writer over here and then giving the sheet name so the start row is basically uh, letting us know or letting the code know that you know from where the code should start writing the data in the existing worksheet, right? So we are checking the maximum row of this Excel uh, or the sheet one. Now max row doesn't mean that it's calculating the maximum number of rows in the worksheet, but it's making or it's uh, basically telling you how many rows have already been used. And after that, the data will get added into the Excel sheet, right? So like I mentioned, it has written this data um, into the worksheet of an, of an ex ex existing workbook. Okay, so this is how you write it with the help of pandas, but yeah, directly or indirectly, um, we are using OpenPy Excel. But anyways, now the second way is we will be using the OpenPy Excel directly. Uh, I mean the li library directly uh, instead of, you know, uh, using both the pandas and OpenPy Excel that we did earlier. Okay, um, for this, for to use OpenPy Excel directly, we will use the library directly. So let's so let's uh, do that. We did the same thing um, in the in the previous uh, video, but uh, I will just repeat. now. It's use OpenPy OpenPy Excel to append data. Right. Okay. So let's write this for that from OpenPy Excel import. I think it was load workbook. Right. So let's run this now load workbook and select active for this let's say wb is equal to load workbook dot mm, let's give it a name so what so i will say example open by excel dot sx so this is the existing workbook that we have right and then uh, let's run this so that we can use this object so for that now let's say worksheet is equal to wb dot wb sheet one i think right um okay check um sheet one sheet, sheet one does not exist so let's check what was the name of the worksheet so we have sheet instead of sheet one so we will use sheet okay now append the data in sheet okay data to append it's a variable is equal to uh, we will be using the tuple data list of tuples so let's say Mm, one two three and then say uh, two twenty four and twenty right so this is the data that um list of tuple okay let's see the data as well what we have created so we have this is the data that we will be appending into the excel now append data in existing sheet which is sheet w as we, we created earlier row by row for row so now we will run this loop uh, so that it the data get, the data gets added one by one so let's say dot append it's uh, very much straightforward okay let's save workbook wb dot save let's what was the name example right now let's try and open the so we started writing it from this one right so it's basically not deleting any data but you know writing the data uh, in this Excel sheet. Okay, good. But one thing if you have noticed, so this is how you write the data on Excel or existing data. So, so this is how you append the data into an existing uh, worksheet or the workbook without, um, you know, replacing the existing or without replacing the data. Okay, now let's work on Excel, Excel SX Writer, which is one of the best um, Python library. And then again, we will be using pandas as well just for the, you know, creating the data frame. Excel Writer can be used as an engine, um, you know, when we are using the Pandas library because the Excel Writer doesn't support appending the data directly um, to the Excel um, workbook or the worksheet. So the workaround is basically to, um, let's say we will first create a data frame with the help of a Pandas library and then 
we will replace an existing uh, data, right? So I would say technically it's not appending it, but uh, on the existing data, but we are appending the data on existing worksheet only. Now the problem uh, could, one of the problem could be, um, now you might face is uh, the formatting and the formulas uh, which already exist in the in the worksheet. So be careful when you're working with XLS writer uh, for appending that. There is a spelling mistake, but that's fine. So um, this is the existing worksheet that we have, right? So we will uh, use this one as the Excel uh, existing data. Now new data to append. Let's create this. So we have new data. Now let's, okay, existing data dot append new data ignore index true so in this we are creating a final data so which will append uh, the new data onto the existing worksheet or workbook right uh, what it says data frame object has no attribute append um, okay so with the with the new uh, or updated versions of pandas so this append has been deprecated right so let's create another um, text let's write another code so let's say append new data is just right so for this one let's say final data equal to pd dot concat and concat will be existing data new data and it will be under date and then ignore index equal to this should work closing parenthesis okay okay good uh, let's see final data as well final data so this is what we have the final data so basically we are um, okay, let me show you first. So this is the data that we have existing in the in the in the workbook or the worksheet, and on that we will be writing this. Um, now we are basically replacing the whole data and then writing. So let's say write new data. Right. So we will say final data dot Excel. So the final was the index equals now. I open the Excel workbook. So basically what it did, it um, replaced the whole data. Now, um, I'll just go through the code again, you know, it was a bit complicated and then we, we also got the error. I will go through the code again just to show you what we did, right? Okay, so what we did, um, we read, first we, we read the Excel workbook and we said that, you know, this is the existing data that we have, uh, which includes the data in the worksheet. And then we created a new data with the data frame uh, pandas data frame right and uh, let me show you the data as well over here so this was the data that we created and then uh, we tried to use the append uh, method but it has already been deprecated from uh, with the latest version of uh, let's say the pandas so then we used a concat function or let's say the method uh, I think it's a function uh, and then uh, with that, what we created, we created a final data and then final data we did to Excel uh, by giving the Excel worksheet and then indexes of all. So, um, so first we read the data from existing workbook and then we created a new data and then we concatenated both the data uh, and then replaced the whole data with the new data in the Excel workbook. Um, technically, we should not do that because uh, there is a high probability or the possibility that you know we might lose the data structure as well or let's say the formatting will access you. I think one of the best way would be uh, to use OpenPy Excel. Right, now, now with OpenPy Excel, we are preserving the, the formatting of the Excel workbook which is one of the uh, good ways about uh, you know uh, using that library and i think out of all these uh, combination of pandas as well as the openpy excel will help you a lot while performing append um, in the uh, while you are uh, using the open while you doing the append of data in the existing workbook or the worksheet right um, so this was all about uh, appending the data into an existing workbook or existing worksheet while preserving the existing data. Now, um, there are a couple of other libraries which we can use. Let's say um, Excel WT is there, but Excel WT is for, let's say, older versions of Excel, which are before uh, or which are like um, before the 2003 version. So yeah, that's all. Thank you so much. Uh, have a great day. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe.